Hey guys, Perigi here. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 tips in order to become faster using Figma. Now, let's get started with the very first one. And uh, by the way, just before I get started, I'm going to bring up the keyboard so that you're going to see each and every keyboard shortcut that uh, we're gonna use. So the very first one is going to be the duplicate tool, which uh, you can essentially duplicate an element by using Command C and then Command V. And uh, as uh, you can see, I just duplicated and uh, it just created this copy in front of the other element. Now, another really useful way to duplicate, which uh, is the way that I use all of the time, is by using uh, the option Alt key and essentially bringing uh, the element uh, with uh, the left mouse button, so just dragging it, uh, and you're going to create uh, many duplicates uh, in no time. Now let's move on to the second tip, uh, but just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched uh, a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So basically I'm sharing tips and advice that I wanted to receive uh, over a decade ago when I first started out uh, in this field and uh, prior working with uh, over 40 clients. And you're also going to receive uh, free source files from these YouTube tutorials. So that's that. Now let's go and let's continue with the second tip, which is going to be the scale tool. Now, the way that you scale elements in Figma is actually really easy. So you have to go under here, under the scale tool, which is right under the move. So if you have the move selected, you can see that you're simply going to just move this element. But if you select with the small arrow here, the scale tool, you can see that now the cursor changes and especially once you go on the borders on these track points and you can easily scale this element in no time. So this applies for group elements but it also applies to individual elements so you can basically use the scale tool for pretty much anything and uh, one thing that I highly recommend you to do if uh, you're going to be a daily Figma user is to learn the shortcuts. So in this case, the scale tool, the shortcut which uh, um, you use is uh, K. So simply use K on the keyboard. You're going to access the scale tool in no time. Now let's uh, say that uh, I want to create uh, a similar button to this one, which uh, uh, is going to have the same style. Now, the way that uh, I can do it is to manually go in, uh, select uh, this uh, element uh, and uh, check uh, the corner radius uh, and uh, duplicate the fill and uh, any other values which uh, I might have uh, in this element, but a very fast way to actually duplicate all of this uh, in pretty much seconds uh, is to use this uh, keyboard shortcut, which is option command C, and then you select uh, this other element and use option command V. So as you can see, I copied the style in literally no time. So especially for more complex elements, such as this one with a drop shadow with all sorts of different values, uh, I can use uh, option command C in order to copy the style and then uh, option command V in order to um, basically paste the style onto any element. And this is a huge time saver. It's uh, definitely one of uh, uh, the top uh, keyboard shortcuts, which uh, I use pretty much all the time as I'm working uh, on my design projects. Now, another really useful tip uh, is uh, the notch tool. So in order to move uh, this element, uh, I can simply use uh, the arrow keys. But as you can see, it's almost uh, uh, fixed <laughs> in its position, meaning that it's moving one pixel at a time. So if I want to move it all the way here, it's just going to take so much time. So an easier and faster way to do this is by using shift, by holding, clicking, uh, click shift, and then use the arrows. And as you can see, it's going to nudge at a certain uh, amount, which we uh, basically have set over here under preferences, nudge amount, and as you can see, Big Nudge, which is the one which we're using as we hold Shift, is set to 10 pixels. Now, let's say that I change it to 100. 
you can see how the big nudge is now 100 pixels and it's moving way faster. So you can uh, easily change this uh, and uh, um, an advice which uh, I can give you is uh, if you have a grid system uh, set at uh, a, certain, uh, a certain value such as 8 points, you can simply set it at uh, 8 and uh, you're going to have uh, uh, nudges which uh, are equivalent to that uh, system in a very easy way. Now, another thing that which uh, I want to recommend you is to um, learn the shortcuts when it comes to, to the layers. So let's say that we create uh, a few different layers uh, right here. And uh, of course, I'm not seeing it because uh, I need some, some extra space. So I'm just going to uh, go over here. I'm just going to bring the keyboard right on, on top. So let's let's rename this rectangle the rectangle spaceship so that we can easily see it. Now, an easy way to change the layer uh, order is simply by selecting it with the left mouse button and then change the space and the order directly by uh, leaving it as we see this uh, black bar. So usually that's going to be the easiest way in order to, um, to change the order. Now, another way that uh, you can do it uh, is especially if uh, you're using, uh, if you have a lot of layers and uh, you want to bring it all the way to the top uh, is uh, you can use uh, this uh, uh, shortcut right here, which is bring to front. And as you can see, it's going to skip all the other layers and it's going to bring it all the way on top. Now, you can see that uh, in uh, each and every one of these uh, menu items in Figma, you also have uh, the keyboard shortcut uh, on the right. So you can, uh, so in, in case you don't want uh, or you forgot uh, the keyboard shortcut and you're accessing this menu, always keep in mind that uh, you can have uh, a refresher of the keyboard shortcut directly from here. So it's almost like a cheat sheet which uh, you can use. Uh, this brings us uh, to another point when it comes to the keyboard shortcuts, uh, which uh, is really, really useful in my opinion, is by going here under the question mark uh, and then going under keyboard shortcut uh, and uh, you can easily see all of the different keyboard shortcuts uh, which uh, you can access in Figma divided by their relative uh, sections. So these are all the selection related keyboard shortcuts. These are all the text related keyboard shortcuts, so on and so forth. So always uh, keep this in mind. Now, another tip which I want to give you is uh, in case you wanted to rename a lot of elements in a fast way, um, it's really easy in Figma where you simply have to select all of them and then you use command plus R. And as you can see, we're going to have this menu which is going to enable us to rename all of these in a matter of seconds. So I, I can, for example, select uh, or write element. And as you can see, the preview is going to show what uh, the uh, layers are going to re be renamed to. So if I just click on rename, you can see that all of these are going to be um, renamed element. And uh, if I select current name, I'm basically telling Figma, hey, just consider the current name of the element. And then on top of that, uh, I can add whatever uh, value that they want, or I can use uh, one of these uh, uh, values, which are essentially the numbers either ascending or descending. So I'm just going to use this one, rename, and as you can see, I have uh, all of the numbers in descending. And uh, the same is true if uh, I wanted to use uh, the ascending values, for example. And uh, you can see that uh, I can rename elements in a very, very fast way. So definitely very useful. And uh, another thing which uh, is really useful in Figma is uh, the auto layout features. So for example, right here, we have this uh, element. So in order to create an auto layout element, uh, and by the way, I recently created an entire video on auto layout and I have multiple videos where uh, I'm showing this uh, really in depth. So we're not going to cover 
um, all of the nuances of how to lay out in the specific videos will because uh, uh, we're already focused it on another and I don't want to make this video too long for you guys but uh, just from a high level the way you create an auto layout is um, you select uh, a few elements then you use shift plus a in order to create the auto layout and uh, the cool thing about it is that uh, I can resize and uh, I can basically decide uh, the auto layout direction from here so this is going to be more obvious as we add uh, uh, more elements for example and uh, as you can see right here I can select the direction of this auto layout I can uh, change the uh, distance uh, the spacing between the items and uh, also um, things like the padding and also the direction so essentially where these uh, uh, auto layout elements uh, are going to be fixed. Now, again, I'm not going to go uh, in depth when it comes to the auto layout, but one of the cool things about it is, uh, for example, you can add some text. Uh, so this is going to be uh, the button and uh, let's just make it a little bit bigger so that I can show you a real life example of a cool feature of auto layout. And, uh, as I create uh, the auto layout right here by using shift plus A and I start renaming, you can see that the button is going to expand automatically and this is really a game changer. It can save a lot of time when it comes to not only buttons but a lot of UI components. So auto layout, definitely really, uh, really useful and really cool. Now I wanted to uh, leave you with uh, one last step which is uh, using plugins. Now Figma plugins can help you save a tremendous amount of time and uh, I recently also created a video on uh, the top five Figma plugins which I use uh, almost on a daily basis and uh, plugins can help you do any sorts of, of things. For example this one uh, enables you to add uh, names uh, in a very fast way uh, then we have plugins in order to find the royalty free images, create mockups in seconds, create uh, awesome looking gradients like the one that you see on Dribbble or Behance and much, much more. So if you're interested in learning more about Figma and uh, feel free to check out my YouTube channel because I have many, many videos showing both uh, tutorials on Figma and also uh, how to create entire user interfaces, dashboards, mobile apps, and much, much more. So feel free to check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.